So there hasn't been a rape scene in a while, so uh, let's get back to a new one, you know. Chick about ready to get raped, but there's this guy uh, who's kind of like the... He's Deathstalker's Robin. Uh, they haven't met yet, but they're about to because they both like doing the same thing. Saving women and then telling them that they have to fuck them for saving them. It's kind of like their hobby. Getting into fights and fucking. And also, and also, a very important part is looking cool. Because as you can see, he definitely got his costume from Halloween so half off. Like, yeah. literally. Those metal things on there aren't even metal, they're plastic and painted silver. Yeah, the costumes in this are pretty cheap. Uh, here comes Deathstalker to... He's showing him how it's done, man. This is how you fuck motherfuckers up. This is why I, I decided to do a tough guy review of this. Because even though this movie does suck at ultimate proportions, it's still tough as nails, man. I mean, for me, the buff of Conan was like, so I can do like. This is actually better than Conan the Barbarian, dude. Yeah, actually, I like this better. It's way more convincing. It's like, look, I am here to kill you. When you were like, there's like four. There's three more sequels to this, man. I actually want to see them now after watching this. We definitely are going to watch the other sequels to this just because I'm appreciating the 80s cheesiness of this. They're going to only be accomplished by like, the guy who played the Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So, Axeman, pussy shithead, hides behind the tree because he, he knows Deathstalker. Can smell him. So here comes his, uh, his new sidekick. We're gonna introduce to our new sidekick. Let's just call this guy Balls. So Balls is like, shit. And Buster Poindexter is like, <gasps> I owe you my life. So they decide to venture off to the. So they finally make it to the castle, and, uh, yeah, dude. Deathstalker's. Some head. Yeah, that was obviously him getting head, and he's, he's liking it. Man, I wish they grilled vegetables like that at my fucking on the border. It tastes so much better. Oh, fantasy movies always gotta have a little. Yeah, these fantasy movies always gotta have at least one or two midgets. And this chick's like, hey, I want some of this Death Stalker cock. He's like, yeah, whatever, I don't care, man. You wanna blow me, that's fine. <laughs> I'm totally, yeah. <laughs> that's just how notorious he is. Yeah, not only is Deathstalker just a crazy, badass murderer when it comes to just killing people, he, he knows how to fuck. And he's got, he's got superior schlong. Look, he's even smiling to the wizard guy saying, yeah, my cock is humongous. Yeah, and no matter what, you know, size changing spells you do on yours, mine is better. <laughs> So we get a Shane Sun moment from our, our main villain, who's, I don't even know really how to pronounce his name, it's Magmon? It's Magmon. Or Magmon, or whatever, I don't know what the fuck to call him. And if you notice, he's got this tattoo that likes to switch spots during uh, different clips of the movie. We'll have to point that out a little bit later. Possibly looks like, I don't know, a Tesla coil that has an eagle track? Yeah. looks like? So he basically we tells everybody, hey man, like, you know, I'm getting old, I need a badass motherfucker to take over the throne. And so tomorrow, you will all engage in mortal oh. combat! We rule. Evil! So I expect. But the tests begin tomorrow. Tonight, you are my guests. And all that I have is yours to share. So Balls is coerced to basically turn on the guy that saved his life, because uh, evil guy's like, hey dude, you know, Deathstalker doesn't give a fuck, you know, he's gonna kill you in Mortal Kombat anyway. So let's try and kill him right now. Really, he's like, kill him now, and you won't have any competition. So, he's like, ha ha ha, my tattoo's on the opposite side now. <laughs> and uh, he basically goes to... Kill 
Death Stalker, but uh, to gives him a chance to leave. But Death Stalker's like, fuck it, I'll just break your neck anyway. <laughs> Epic fucking fail. So uh, yeah, since he uh, didn't get killed the night before, he manages to make it to the tournament. And, uh, he's fighting uh, the world champion, King Pigface. He's kind of a pushover, man. I mean, Death Stalker's just kicking his fucking ass. It's hard to play when you're Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, Mac one's like, fuck. This guy's causing a riot because he's so badass. I mean, he's got the coolest fans. So Deathstalker has this final battle with Macmon, and Macmon eventually uses his power of the chalice to make, um, you know, Deathstalker trip balls for a little bit, and he starts hallucinating. You know what I can really go for that I haven't got in a while, man? What? Nice mushroom trip. Let's see if it works again. Hopefully it's... It's got power. Yeah. Wow! Make Kyle trip nuts for 12 hours straight! Are you okay, man? Wow! So the evil wizard, uh, Magmon gives, a uh, Red hot iron. Yeah, basically gives fucking Deathstalker a red rocket. Can't fuck with me, my glasses is the shit. Death Do not allow illusion to become fear. But Deathstalker's version of Mickey comes in. Yeah, the witch is basically like, You can do it, Rock! <laughs> Just eat lightning and shit thunder. Yeah, and walk through fucking fire! You can do it! It's not like you're human or anything like that. I mean, that's not flesh on your hand. So fuck you. I got my sword. Look at this magic glass and all the great things it creates. <laughs> nothing against my eight pack abs. <laughs> so everybody's like, oh shit, dude. The torch is so. We got one some shit going down. Yeah, this is going down, man. So we get some really bad flame effects in. Uh, yeah, what do you think is going to happen next? Um, I don't know. Let's see. So yeah, Deathstalker walks through the fucking fire, and doesn't even have to, like, stab the guy. What the fuck?! Really? I didn't, I didn't even have to fucking stab you. Fucking pussy. So yeah, Macmon's got, like, all butthurt because his glass is taken. He's all out of spells. Like, man, dude, I don't have any more power without the fucking glass. My glass was the shit, but now this guy's just... Oh, wait, I think... Mean, wait, something's about to happen, dude. He pulled the thing off his neck. He took the amulet, he took the sword, and the glass. Oh, oh dude. Are you fucking mad? Hey, notice how the tattoo's on the other side of his face again. And he's like, I don't give a fuck. Well, that time it managed to stay on the same side between camera changes. You've ruined everything. You took my glass. My magic glass. How could you? Everybody's cheering like, Damn, fucking dead! Feed him to us! So yeah, he, he, he gives him to the people. People have been wanting to kill this guy for a while now. Justice. Yeah, they're tired of his shit. So, I mean, really, you can tell these people just been itching to do something like this this guy. This is like a reenactment of the French Revolution. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was, yeah. Brings up the age 
until then, man. Yeah. The only guy apart was Ropes and Corpses. Yeah, man, this is... This is pretty fucked up, man. This is old school. Hopefully we'll get some good gore effects, man. All the head chopping's been pretty gay. Yeah, I think they basically have to like just kill him while he does this. I destroy you. That's the only way to defeat Magmun's, you know, evil powers. Well, that wasn't bad, dude. And this is another E-Man clip, basically. Really, a sword and That's basically it, dude. He ends it, man. And this is almost the end of the movie, so Kyle, man. You know what, what the end is, right? You know what to do. Team Meteor, go!